Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my crazy co actors <laughs> with me, Ewa Oluwa Ritu, and Ife Oluwa Shuge. Hi, Ife. How are you doing? I'm, I'm better. I'm better. Why is your voice still on the low? No, no, no. We'll, we'll tell people what is going on when it has been sorted. Okay. So we'll I'm good, I'm too. good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very good. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure you don't need the help? <laughs> I need the help. <laughs> help you me. You need the help, boy. <laughs> right. Let's just move on in peace. Mm -hmm. Nollywood actress and producer Tony Abraham has shut down the fertility business she launched around October 2019. The actress um, who claimed she had her child through a traditional herbal remedy after battling fertility issues had said she started a business to help other women with fertility issues have kids. Tony took to her Instagram page to reveal that she's closing the business due to some structural disagreements with her partners. So, I think I want to say, I want you have to say on this. This is like, like, but while I say I'm not busy. <laughs> No, I mean, but that's why it sounds like and she has issues with her partners. Yeah, yeah. But then she's selling a pack. I don't know how big the pack is, but I saw the price was 65000 mm. So um, I, I feel like this is money issues. Like, how people much are, are you giving buying. the partners? But people are buying. She's saying she has to return some. Um, mm. She'll have to deliver refund some them. and then refund some. So I don't think it's... I don't know. I don't know. But I just don't like that you came out with the vibe of, oh, you're here to help women and blah, blah, blah. And you didn't properly do your homework mm. because it's, this is a real issue and there are so many women battling it. And they kind of find, found a level of hope in her or in her brand. And now it's just going that way. So I, I, I don't even know how I feel about the story. But mm, I just I, hope I mean, whatever I... it is, um, that she sorts it and that this was... Not, I, I'm, I also want to believe that this was not the plan from the get-go. Mm. Like, no, I, I, make honest, some money I don't and think, let it go. But. I don't think this was the plan from the get-go. But, you know, sometimes you don't know what it is until you get yourself involved in it. Mm. Like you People can said, be funny as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe the herbalist said, I'm not mixing again. Mm. And I mean, she's just... <laughs> She's just even nice enough to quit the business. Some people will start giving people fake products yeah, and what is anything. mix anything for them as long as mm. me, I'm money getting my money. And she, I mean, she has a whole name to herself that she can keep selling her fake um, products. And her fans will still buy it and then, you know, still come and say, even if it didn't work for them, they'll still come and say, buy Tony's products. So I feel like this is just fair no, enough. If I want you, you'll know if it work for you. <laughs> you'll not do buy Tony's products. I mean, I just feel this is like fair enough that she's not putting out fake products out there to mm. people. And I mean, you might want to try something. Everybody gets um, their self involved in something and when they are <laughs> in it, they're I'm laughing, <laughs> but if I... Um, for me, I think this just cuts across every industry that a lot of people mm. get involved in things without um, having a proper structure because I think um, before you even go into any business, you should have a five-year projection to even start with. How are we mm. going to make this work? How, what are the mistakes we're like, um, that are likely to be made? Mm. What are the things that can be avoided? I think those are the p part of the planning before starting any business. So this just shows that, okay, this worked for me. Ah, let me jump into the business. You didn't do your proper homework. You didn't do your proper research because if after six months down the line or is it eight months, you're saying you're having um, less than six months. You're yeah. saying you're having um, structural um, dis uh, um, disagreements with your partners. It just shows that there was no structure from the get-go and mm. then you guys are now trying to well, I mean, hon honestly, I get where you're coming from, but let me play a hard advocate here. I feel like it's understandable if there is no proper structure for this business because it's something it's like, not understandable. Hold on, no, no, like it's something like she saying. started, okay. um, you know, she's using this and about product and it worked, and she's like, let me just help other people. Help with it. She was making money, let's not be using and the then, but at least the she's just selling the so, um, product okay. for people, and maybe I mean some people. People have, people have had testimonies. She started selling. Oh really? Yeah. So. Wow. Yep. In four months. Testimony. Okay. But well, anyway, it I'm takes happy one second to make babies. Me more. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I get what if I say because yeah, I think honestly, this is something everybody should consider and learn mm -hmm. one or thing, uh, a thing or two from it. Because if you're starting a business, you just have to 
make your research, understand the risk involved and what can be done and what cannot be done. And even if you have to sometimes come down to learn the process of the um, production mm. so that when somebody tells you, I'm no longer yeah, interested, no, you'll be able to. You know, you'll be able to maybe move to the next person or at least have an idea to keep the ship sailing for a while before you get help. But right now, like you said, she wanted to help people and the help is no longer it's there. She's not Jesus Christ <laughs> at the end of I the day. I think everyone should just learn from yeah. this mm -hmm. and uh, realize that business is not just something you dabble in mm -hmm. and out of. You need to actually know what you're actually doing yeah. before you even start in the first place. Have mm -hmm. the technical know-how mm -hmm. before you even get into it. So, but in this case, I don't think she had any idea what it was and now she's beginning to feel like, okay, the money I'm putting into this is probably less than what I'm getting or the people that she's working are like, okay, you're getting, you're Wait, giving us mm. uh, less than what we should be getting and mm. there should be a proper structure, a proper agreement, percentage sharing and all of that before you even start. I don't, we don't know what exactly the, yeah. the problems are. Or maybe but they don't have enough apps in here to make. Uh, it's okay, you are doing a terrible job at this <laughs> advocacy. Let's just let it go. I wish I had the best though and she said she's moving More to the next business. business. Right? So let's I see. hope the next let's business she out. does the right thing mm. at the right time. Moving on to the next story. Not Hollywood actress Dakori Akonde shuts down marriage um, rumor as she celebrates 10th wedding anniversary. The movie started to her Instagram page where she shared a video of her kids and her husband. Okay, this is one news that really gave me joy mm, when I saw too. it because I, I saw the link to the rumor. I mean, people were saying, oh, the husband is not as rich as he used to be anymore, and he cannot fund her lifestyle. I mean, so many things. And when I saw this post on her page, I, I'm definitely sure you probably have seen my comments on the page. I was so happy and pleased enough of the whole breakup thing. You know, marriage is, is, it can be tough, but it's supposed to be fun as well. So when the tough time comes, you just go through it together. And whatever it is, please, I'm rooting for them, and I'm happy they are still together. I'm, I'm very happy they are still together because mm -hmm. I'm like, why are people really so excited that the marriage was, oh, I mean, the rumor, yeah, why are people so excited, excited? about it? And people were so excited about really? it and I'm like, you know, now everybody's trying to feel, oh, another celebrity marriage is over. Oh, another celebrity, yeah. I'm like. I was heartbroken, actually. I know you were. I was not happy about it, too, but that's why I was confused when people mm. were like. Oh yeah, she travels with her friends. She does this, you know. When all these things happen, people start bringing up so their own things. stories that are not even true. So when I saw this on her page, I was like, "Ha, Nigerians are bad people. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Why would you do that to somebody's marriage? I mean, people need to slow down, stop dropping rumors. If you don't, as a blogger, if you don't have your facts, mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. stop ruining people's reputation and marriage every time with your story because you want people to come to your page. I mean, you need to slow down on these things. It's not just fair. I think basically for the bloggers, it was assumption, one assumption to the other. The fact that she was seen in a country would be um, wearing a bikini and not with a husband. The fact that she went for the one fest um, mm concerts mm. without a husband and uh, you know so many rumors like people really need to i know i know it's our job it's our work but at the end of the day we still need to have our facts right that's why mm. we say um sensationalization of people's stories is really saddening because mm -hmm. you need to have your facts if this if you haven't made put a call true to this person i don't think you should put out a story based on assumption because this because a close source said the mother wants and they, they need to uh, sorry no, like, to um cut in the, people need to understand that couples will fight mm -hmm. i mean it's bound to happen so because they're having issues or they have um something to sort out does not mean they're breaking up mm -hmm. or they're breaking apart people need to understand that if they have issues if you want to tell people you want to do your proco say it the way it is mm -hmm. i mean don't go overboard i mean learn from um the foreign sources because each time you tell us source it's almost a hundred and one percent true like <laughs> you know but like yeah you put source it's never true i like the way they both shut down the room more because mm -hmm. um, they just came out to wish each other 10 years of um, blissful marriage and all of that and I think that was just so amazing and then the guy actually emphasized on the 10 years not 9 not 7 but 10, ten. do you understand so it's really what if this was a stunt though what stunt what stunt I'm just saying what if I honestly don't think it's a stunt I feel like people just started the rumor and then it was just a coincidence that it was 10 years it was right? 10 years 
Okay. I mean, so you, you get where I'm coming yeah, from. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. For you to get where you go where I'm coming from. <laughs> okay, I think it's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people that got DM sometimes from Malawi like what? Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. Black China denies Rob Kardashian's claim of very bad parenting. She continues to contest Rob's um, claim as she denies abusing drugs in front of children and teaching sexual positions. Okay. Okay, so one thing I got from this is that she's, she didn't deny doing drugs. Mm -hmm. It's just that she does not do it in, in front, front of the kids. kids. Mm -hmm. And I think that's still bad for the child. I mean... You would come home, it's drugs, it will mess you up, and then you will come home and mm -hmm. your child will see you that way. It's still bad. Mm. Yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting her to agree to his claims in the first place, mm. but before uh, there is no smoke without fire. And um, I like the fact Don't that. Don't forget that these are sources, so. What? This is sources that so, were. No, Rob's no, own say, is not. No, 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 no. Her like own, her this response, okay, all from yeah. sources, an interview with TMZ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like the fact that um, when Rob was speaking, it was true legal documents, mm -hmm. one. Secondly, he's not saying that um, you wouldn't have access to the kid. your child anymore, but 30 minutes before every visit, which is going to be weekends, um, you have to submit yourself for a drug test, which is only right, because if, you, if, you, if you're being accused of using cocaine in front of the child, and then my child is coming back and showing me sexual positions at the age of three, then I would be concerned as well. She's looking scruffy when I know that I'm, I'm the son of a multi no, but I mean, Dream does not look scruffy in any way. She always looks good. No, that's what you see on TV. That's what you see on social media. No, but media. I mean, We're from sources. <laughs> from sources, too. Sources, I mean, sources said that. Mm. She, has she has her own dry clothes. No, no, not clothes. Like, she has, she's been a good mother mm. from sources. Sources well, are um, I like to see, let's just <laughs> see, see how this, was on her document. I like the fact that this is all legal, so there's no hiding place for them. Mm -hmm. It would still have to go to courts. The courts would still have to make the decision. They would still have to do proper investigation. So this is not he said, she said mm -hmm. kind of thing. So it's a thing that um, the law would have to um, take, its course. take its course and play out eventually. So let's just, like I said, um, when we started discussing the story, let's just watch the space and see how it grows. But I don't think... Um, um, Rob is not like in a good position to be a good parent, so. so. You don't think, you think he's in so? a good position? Yeah. Why? Um, Rob. Ha. Huh. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> well, I don't watch Keeping Up, so. Okay, yeah, that's so why. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't anyway. know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't keep up. At all. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I kind of keep up, so. Okay. <laughs> is, does he do drugs too? He has history, I mean, all these people are like that. No, like from what you've said on keeping up with the Kardashians, did they show that part of him? Um, may maybe no, but <sighs> let's move on. Just don't like him. No, okay. no, no. I mean, I don't have anything against him, but I just don't think it's like a good position. You know, when somebody's trying to accuse somebody of being a bad parent, mm -hmm. and not know. like you're any know, better. Rob, and if we're going to go by history and we want to follow, um, I think. Um, What's her name? Black China mm -hmm. has a long thread of history. Even with with, let's even know, no, not with him of bad behavior. No, no, no I'm not saying um, she's his accusations are wrong. I'm just saying I don't mm, think that he is also. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying maybe I somebody think that else she will be should take custody of the child. I mean, with him than she. 
then like you still said they can still go through that way of saying black china knows rob even more than we do mm. and would have a lot on him so if it's truly that terrible it's not going to take anything from her to put that oh, in a document yeah. and yeah bring of course it out. So, I'm, i mean I'm, I'm sure she would respond with that she, she well, does not want to but just from her not attitude at, like, when yet. she visited this country mm -hmm. i don't even think i want anybody's child with her not to talk of. we'll see how this plays out if, if <laughs> but you know her attitude the, my not necessarily make her a, a mother. bad mother yeah uh, well, our own mother is obviously rubbing off her, so I don't know. Okay. It just <laughs> Abdul Karim says he has been vindicated because Nigeria is still jaga jaga. So he made this known in an interview on Robin Minds. Yeah, with Ebuka. Yeah, so this was, I think he was talking about his music at the time and how it reflects now. And he said he was happy that uh, the music president. got to Obasanjo, who was president mm -hmm. at the time. And, um, Everything that's happening now just shows that Nigeria is actually jaga jaga. Well, um, I watched the interview, or at least I watched the part concerning um, this story and all of that, and I realized that okay, I think this guy is actually right because um, he did a Mr. Lecturer back mm. then that was about sex for greed and mm. all of that, and that story was one of the biggest stories of last year and mm. it's still ongoing do you understand so i think um the importance of music is when you're able to leave a mark at the mm -hmm. end of the day pass across a message and make sure that it is actually something meaningful and now in my head i'm thinking that okay 10 years down the line because this is 18 years later what are these other new generation artists going what message would they say they have left <laughs> <laughs> what message exactly because this guy actually had content mm. no matter how we want to um um wasn't that watered down whatever this style of music or his mm. rap and all of that but everything he spoke about we can't even water oh, down <laughs> well, at the time when idris abdul karim was doing jaga jaga and mr lecturer and all we also had artists that were giving us what we could say our mm. shaku shaku and feel good music i mean we right? still have so artists like files yeah, we, have people like files, Jews, we have them mm. so i think in every society we we'll always mm. have this every type. everybody cannot do the same every thing. generation so mm. you always have people that would raise their voice with their crafts and then people mm. that would just make no i'm no no I'm, I did, I'm not i'm not trying to bring down the new generation musicians mm. i'm just saying that i just thought about it that mm. okay that's true this guy was actually making sense in mm. as much as we told it wasn't you understand and then it's so funny that 18 years later almost everything he complained about in that song still is still happening i mean and it's just so this, sad um, when are we actually going to get that change we've been clamoring for all these years eh? they said there's a new i don't know if you guys saw about the new position now that's uh, yeah, I saw it. you saw it right mm. but we can't talk about that now no. we'll share it <laughs> and if you haven't seen it go find out about the um, new um, job position that is available job position yes Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but if I said almost everything, like if back then he sang Nigeria Jaga Jaga, mm. and now that song is still very relevant. If mm. they play it, everybody can still relate to all the Jaga Jaga things he was talking about. I feel everybody should just speak a lesson from this and know that it's like we're not moving. Mm. It's looking like we're moving, but we're not moving because mm. everything people used to complain back then is still very much there right now what we can see like the sex for grade electricity bad road poverty poor education i mean just bad name it governance. everything is still there corruption is still there so what are we doing and we've had like other presidents after the current president then and all these things are still like this Nigeria, we need to wake up and, you know, more people need to start speaking up. Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Okay, let's go on a quick Everything break. When scatter, we come back, scatter. we have one more story to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, <laughs> are you? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. I 
can still make music and people are still buying. That's why they look myself minimal eye, you. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Mala we like. Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Cardi B says she feels like if she goes back to school and focus, she can be part of Congress, stating that she has so much ideas that make sense and need a couple of years of school so she can shake the table. She also says she loves government, though she doesn't agree with government. Mm. So, I just I, hope this I, I, particular information, they, they've twisted it to say she says she's going, she has not said, she said she's thinking about it, like she feels like if she does it she has not categorically come out to say i'm going back to school because i want to be congress mm. like what kim k is doing and all that mm. so this is just her thinking out Thought. loud i mm. think okay so what i was going to say is that mm -hmm. i hope this information gets to every single girl you know if they say bad news spread faster than mm -hmm, good news mm -hmm. every single girl that i've seen a video saying school does not matter blah 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 mm. you, now you see that school really matters, matters yeah. because for her to even have that thought that means for her to do that she needs to go to school mm -hmm. so at this point i think everybody needs to know that school is very important and like you rightly said she's not saying that she's going mm. yet but i mean it starts with a thought yeah and she can do it. Honestly, you can do it. See Kim, she's doing it, and she's but doing see very for well. Kim's results. <laughs> oh, really? She'll come and show you <laughs> at the end of the year. <laughs> if she doesn't pass through, everybody will know. But no, she will pass through. Amen. Mm -hmm. I like the message in this, actually. Um, and I like the fact that you pointed it out as well, that education is key. Mm -hmm. um, someone like Kim Kardashian, we would have thought that um, she would ever, ever mm -hmm. think that education is something she needs to be able to do something bigger. Right. Do you understand? Because she has all the money she can think of. She has all the clothes. She has all the designers and all that but there are certain things you cannot do without passing through the four walls of a school right so um, for everyone watching out there education is important no matter who you want to be if you want to be a footballer musician whatever because you never know what tomorrow mm -hmm. will, be, will bring and for your qualification you definitely need the four walls of a school mm. okay for me I would just say I want to relate this back to the Tony Abraham story and saying it's not really just about education so I think it's basically about the right kind of education so if you want to go into making this kind of cup for example you know you have to acquire knowledge in this area or whatever um, whatever is needed to make that business move forward so mm. Kim knows that she has passion for oh, um, helping justice. people mm. and she just realized that you know what I need to find out what the law says about this and mm. be able to make informed decisions right it doesn't mean that she wants to be a lawyer or that when she comes out she's going to start defending people by herself mm. but she needs to be able to make decisions so whatever anyone is going to do but you had the opportunity to go to school at the time now if you have it now don't throw it away because it will be handy mm. in future yeah, but yeah. whether you had it at the point or now or later it means that you just have to be able to find knowledge wherever you are on whatever path you are going to that's yeah. how i say it. talking about i mean i totally agree with what you're saying talking about that let's take um davido as an example he had mm. to study music in mm -hmm. school according to him his father had to put pressure on him mm. to study music, music in school yeah. so whatever it is that you want to do trust me there's a related course or something yeah. you can do in school that you get your certificate yeah right Alright, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel Aplus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on IOS TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ewa Oluo Ritu and Ife Oluo Shankaye and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and have a good day.